Last season, the UConn Huskies went to their first bowl game since 2016. And you guys know me. I give props when props are due. Second-year head coach Jim Moore Jr. has really turned the program around. And they kicked their season off with a home rematch against NC State on Thursday night. So let's talk to Matt from UConn Sports Nation, who's been covering the football program for the last 10 seasons in today's college football spotlight. Matt, thanks for joining us. Uh, I can't remember the, the amount of hype that's been around the UConn football program for quite some time. So let's dive into this, man. Let's start by talking about the offense. UConn's quarterbacks last season completed just 56.9% of their passes and threw only 10 touchdowns with 10 interceptions. Former Maine quarterback Joe Fignano uh, transferred to stores, and he's expected to be QB1. So what should we expect from the Huskies' offense this game and this season? You're going to still see a heavy dose of running the football. Uh, they have a very strong offensive line. It's where this team is going to start and end. Uh, their success is going to go as they go. They stay healthy. They're going to have a strong offensive unit that's going to be able to run the football. But as opposed to years past where they really haven't had much of a passing game, Joe Fignano comes in and he's very accurate with the football. He's been uh, somebody that's the ball hasn't hit really the ground in practice throughout all, all the camp. So he's a guy that's going to be able to make the right decisions. The offensive line is going to give us some time. Um, and he's going to be able to put the ball where it needs to be down the field. Yeah, UConn had a three-headed monster last season. So I was kind of wondering what the identity was going to be like, and especially losing former running backs coach uh, EJ Barthel to Nebraska. But it's great to have a QB1 back there that can spin it, especially when you have a run game. Let's Riverside it. Let's talk about this defense. They'll have to stop former UVA quarterback uh, Brennan Armstrong, who transferred to NC State. The Huskies' defense has a lot of players back who got some action last season. So how does the Huskies' D shut down Armstrong Armstrong and the rest of the Wolfpack's weapons. Yeah, middle linebacker Jackson Mitchell, one of the top returning linebackers, ta leading tacklers in the nation. He's the heart and soul of this unit, the entire team, actually, not just on defense. Um, he has a lot of help up front on the defensive line, uh, and they have a lot of new faces on the back end, so especially on the outside at corners. Um, some transfers in from Washington State, from Washington, from West Virginia. You're going to see a lot of guys uh, that had some time and played at P5 programs now coming in and, and really getting earning some time throughout camp are going to be playing on the outside. I got to love the portal, huh? <laughs> so uh, uh, it's a chance for some redemption, some get back. It's the rematch. NC State won by 31 last season. But that's before Coach Moore and the team kind of turned things around. The Huskies were 5-1 and one at home last season. So what's Coach and the team saying about having the rematch at home under the lights? And do you like their chances? Yeah, I mean, there's been a huge push from the University of Connecticut to try to get fans back in the stadium. They used to average close to a sellout every every game at home, especially when they were running a decade ago. Um, 35,000 is already the projected attendance, and they're expecting more walk-ups as we get closer to the kickoff tomorrow. So it should be an electric atmosphere under the lights at Rensselaer Field, where, as you mentioned, they went 5-1 and one last season. This should be a much closer game than a season ago, particularly with all the changes uh, on the NC State, NC State side. And now Coach Moore in his second year being able to really instill his defensive uh, philosophy on this team. And they're going to be better offensively. So it should be a better all-around performance from UConn. Real quick, Matt, tell the people where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on social media, on Twitter, at UConnSN. You can see all my, all my uh, work. It's X now, Matt. It's X. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, man. Thank you very much.